Hey guys, welcome back to part three of my never ending empties videos. So in this one, we're just focusing on that small good shop and midnight daydream because I have a ton of both of them. I love melting these two and one of my favorite things about melting that small good shop and the reason why I have so many empties is because her wax works in any warmer ever. Tea lights, 24 watts, light bulbs, hot plates, 18 watts, you name it, it works. So um, that's why I have so many empties because I can just melt her and her wax in any room and it, we are all good. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So this first one that I have here from Midnight Daydream is Bear Claws. One of my favorite scents. He has one of the best Bear Claws scents I've ever smelled. It's like a joke between us because um, when I first met him and uh, he had reached out to me to review for him, uh, we did the zucchini sampler and my favorite scent in there was zucchini bear claws So we always talk about it because it's our favorites. Oh my god. It is absolutely amazing Strong 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 throw and I would repurchase that over and over and over again um, Toasty Noel from that small good shop. I actually just melted this. I love this scent It's one of those very few vanilla B Noel scents that I can actually smell and it's super strong. Oh Man, I love this so much and I would always repurchase it Oops, dropping stuff. Um, Midnight Daydream, The Halloween Bakery, Frosted Pumpkin Cupcakes, Zucchini Bread, and Sugar Cookies. This one was also a really strong throw. For Midnight Daydream, for his uh, two ounce sun shots, I always cut them in half because I just feel like I get a better throw and less is more. This was really good. I love the pumpkin scent in here because it's not overly spicy and it's not like super artificial it smells like a real cinnamon pumpkin zucchini bread scent it was absolutely amazing let's move this down a little bit there we go okay and then the next one i did from that small good shop is toasty mallow i can't remember if i got this in like a sample or if i bought the little squares this one's really good. I like to mix her um, toasted marshmallow with a bunch of other stuff. I like to mix it with uh, vanilla B Noel, bear claws. Um, I think I did strawberry muffins one time. It's just a really good blender and I love it. From Midnight Daydream, I did coconut shortbread claws, which is coconut shortbread cookies and bear claws. Amazing scent. It is so, so, so good. I am obsessed with it. Oh man, I can just smell this over and over and over again. His um, coconut scent in that one is a very creamy bakery coconut scent and I can never get sick of it. Then I did special strudel, apple strudel and maple sugar or maple brown sugar cookies. This one was amazing as well. I really like this apple strudel scent. It's like uh, kind of like your average fall sweet cinnamon apple and then mixed with the maple brown sugar. Oh God, you guys. It was absolutely amazing. I really hope he comes out with more of that one because it's so good. And then I did coffee at the breakfast club. I don't remember the scent description for this one, but I think I have a two ounce somewhere. But this one smells like a, what's it called? It's like a cinnamon caramel coffee scent. It's really, really good and really strong. Oh, my coffee's done. <laughs> That's what the beeping is. Next one is Crispy Treat Dream, which is a frosted mug filled with coffee milkshake is topped with crispy treats and churro donuts. This one was amazing as well. Oh my goodness. I like his churro scent, so it kind of depends on what the churro scent is because there's one that I like and then there's one that I dislike, but this one was really good. I love the coffee in here because, hang on, I don't want to say because it's, super, it's like, ugh, how do I explain it? I like really strong coffee scents, but this one I really like as well, and it was a lot more mellow is what I'm trying to say, because the coffee milkshake and then mixed with like the churro and the crispy treats mellows it down a lot. So um, yeah, I really like that one. Okay, sorry about that. You're a little bit crooked and I had to fix it. <laughs> I did fresh baked bread from that small good shop. I've talked about this a million times. I love her fresh baked bread. It is super, super strong. I will always repurchase it. Um, fresh coffee and fresh baked bread. This one was really good as well and it kind of surprised me a little bit because her fresh coffee is one of the strongest coffee scents I've ever smelled and I really thought it would overpower the fresh baked bread. Now the coffee obviously was stronger but I definitely got that yeasty warm fresh baked bread scent. So I really like that one as well and I definitely would get some more. Strawberry zucchini is another one I talk about all the time. 
Great, great, great strawberry zucchini scent. Uh, she does this one really well. Uh, it's so sweet, but at the same time, the strawberry is like tart, and then you get like that really strong, creamy zucchini bread scent with it. I love it. It's one of my favorite fruity bakery scents ever. I did the Martha's, which is caramel glaze, sweet pastry, and latte. This one was amazing as well. This one is like a very, it kind of reminds me, to be honest with you, the, street, the sweet pastry smells like zucchini bread to me. So really, it smells like a sweet, sugary coffee scent mixed with zucchini bread and caramel. That's what it smells like to me. It is fantastic. I have another one that I'm hoarding. <laughs> From Midnight Daydream, I did Euphoria, which is Palo Santo and Sticky Brown Sugar. I just hauled this in my last order, and I fell in love with it. I melted it almost immediately because it was so good. And also, my fiancé and his brother were here, so I wanted to melt something that they would like. <laughs> but this was fan-freaking-tastic. The brown sugar really comes out when it's warmed because I said on cold I wish the brown sugar came out more, but it really comes out when it's warmed up, so... Like I always say, never judge it until you melt it. It was amazing. Harrison, if you're watching, please, please, please make more of that. Make a candle or like come out with loaves. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, easy bake, zucchini cupcake, sugar cookies, and sweetened condensed milk. I melted this one today. It was freaking amazing. This is one of the strongest like zucchini sugar cookie scents. Reminds me a lot of Bake and Bake. It reminds me a lot of the one from Sassy Girl Aroma, Downtown Bakery. That's what this smells like. It's amazing. And I would absolutely get more, obviously. Um, strawberry Bear Claws. Guys. <laughs> Guys. This is like, it has terror written all over it. Oh my god, I wish I had gotten more of this. I don't, it's not a sample. I must have bought it. But this is so good, you guys. Maybe it came in a sampler. I don't remember. I think he did a strawberry sampler, and that's where this came from. Harrison, again, if you're watching, please, please, please make more of that one because it's like my favorite. <laughs> I did strawberry Ferris wheel, sweet strawberry jam, cotton candy, and funnel cake. So this one was really good. Um, the funnel cake is a little bit spicy, but it kind of makes sense with the strawberry. I really like cinnamon strawberry scents lately, and I know it sounds really weird, but guys, it seriously works. Like with the bear claws, OMG, it was amazing. I wish the cotton candy was a little bit stronger just to add an extra like oomph to it, but it was really good as it was. And then I did Are You Baking? Bear Claws, Salted Caramel, Zucchini Bread, and Danish Butter Cookies. I recently did this one as well, and again, awesome, awesome bakery scent. Harrison is like a bakery king. He comes up with some of the best bakery scents like in the entire world. It was absolutely fantastic. You definitely get the bear claws and the zucchini bread. The salted caramel really came out too. It gave it like a really sweet but salty scent note to it. And then the Danish butter cookies obviously kind of like put it all together. And it was really creamy and amazing. So absolutely get more of that one. And then I did lemon marshmallow zucchini. So I haven't been crazy about lemon lately, but this one really got me back on that lemon kick. His is just amazing. The lemon marshmallow smells exactly like lemon vanilla from Bath & Body Works. I don't know if you guys remember it. It was a huge hit. I have no idea why they never brought it back, but it smells exactly like that. And then mixed with that zucchini was fantastic. So Harrison, again, please redo that one. So good. Okay, we did strawberry jam and zucchini bread. It smelled exactly like the strawberry zucchini bread. I don't need to go over it again. Um, I guess she just renamed it or something. Oh man, I know this is gonna fall over. I did cocoa zucchini, and this one has been a favorite of mine for years now. This is actually another one of my comfort scents. I don't know why, it's just, I don't know, maybe it's the chemicals in my brain that's like, okay, you like this, so we're gonna calm you down. I don't know, it's very weird, but this one is so, so good. I will repurchase this again and again and again and again. Super strong. I have never really have a problem with that smoker shop, to be honest with you. I rarely ever get light scents. Same thing with Midnight Daydream. It may seem like I'm kissing these vendors' asses, but I'm really not trying to. Like, I really do enjoy this stuff. You guys know I wouldn't lie to you, of course. Um, but I just have really good luck with these vendors, I guess. Okay, next one. Commander, which is pumpkin, apple, maple, and cornbread. So this one was a new-to-me scent. It sounded great. 
and it is really good. Um, but to me, you mostly get like a mac apple scent mixed with some maple. I didn't really get a pumpkin or a cornbread out of it. But the pumpkin maple was really, really good together. I should really start mixing pumpkin and maple scents um, when I do customs from somebody. So that one was really good. Um, zucchini bread, sugar cookie, and creme de la creme. This one was amazing as well. I love zucchini mixed with sugar cookies. You guys know that. I literally just went over it and it's so good. I don't get much of that creme de la creme. It mostly just smelled like zucchini bread and um, sugar cookies to me. Um, fresh coffee, I have gone over this a thousand times. We don't need to keep going over it. It's just amazing. I did serendipity. I love that small good shop serendipity. Hers is a very, very sweet and creamy kind of scent. Yeah, it doesn't smell like Play-Doh. <laughs> I know, I don't know what is up with my phone. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people say that they get like a Play-Doh note to it. But hers, I don't get that. It's very sweet. It's very coconutty, creamy. Oh, it's just so good. Okay, next I have um, from Midnight Daydream, Cafe Espresso Zucchini Birthday Bread. Cafe Espresso Zucchini Bread and Happy Birthday. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness. So I love the espresso mix with the zucchini. It's very strong espresso scent, but then it kind of calms down a little bit when that happy birthday comes out. It's, oh my God, it's just so good, you guys. Oh, goodness. I love ordering from them. All right, then we have a gooey apple zucchini. So this was another favorite of mine for years. I do still really like it, but I'm kind of getting over it now. It's like a... It's kind of like a mac apple and then, you know what, it smells like a candy apple, like a caramel apple is what I'm trying to say, if I could speak. It smells like a caramel apple mixed with zucchini, which is a very good scent, but I've just melted it so much over the years, I'm kind of just getting over it now, so that's going to fall, I know it is. Okay, from Midnight Daydream, I did Marshmallow Zinger Waffle Wafers. This one, I think I mixed with something, I think it was like a cookie scent that I mixed it with. And I did absolutely get the marshmallow zinger. It wasn't super strong. It was more of like a lighter throw, um, but I did still enjoy it. And I probably would buy more of it just to mix with other stuff. For Midnight Daydream, I did counting carbs, dinner rolls, zucchini bread, Amish cinnamon bread, and glazed donuts. This one was amazing as well. Oh my goodness. So the zucchini bread stands out the most. And then you do get the cinnamon bread, or the Amish cinnamon bread, excuse me. Um, I love zucchini and Amish friendship bread mixed together. It is just fantastic. I like his too, even though it does say cinnamon bread. It's not super cinnamony. It's not in your face like red hot cinnamon. It's definitely on the sweeter side. Um, and I do really like it and I would definitely get some more. Toasty Mallow Zucchini, another one that's been my favorite for years. It's just like a vanilla B. Noel zucchini scent is what it smells like to me. It's like really strong, but it's kind of salty at the same time. I always get like a salty note from her zucchini bread, which does not bother me at all because I just think it makes it unique. Under his eye, which is pumpkin, ice cream, and mallow whip. So this was another new one to me. I think she came out with this during Halloween maybe. This one was really good. It kind of actually reminds me of pumpkin pecan waffles while it's melting and uh, I don't know, I guess it's just the pumpkin and you know the ice cream and the marshmallow all mixed together kind of gives me that vibe. I don't know, it was more of like a medium throw. It wasn't super strong, but I do like it. However, if I was gonna get something that smells like pumpkin pecan waffles, I would just get pumpkin pecan waffles, you know? Okay, um, Campfire Marshmallow Noel, Campfire Marshmallow Vanilla Bean Noel. This one became my favorite when I first smelt it. It was so good. I don't know what it is about this one, but it smells like, it smells exactly like Marshmallow Fireside and then with a super sweetness from the Vanilla Bean Noel, it is just so good. I think I bought a few of these actually. So amazing. I might have reviewed that one before as well. Um, from that small good shop, just plain old Mac Apple. I think I was melting um, like a zucchini bread something in the same room because I, like my kitchen and my living room are combined, you know what I mean? So I have one in the living room and one in the kitchen. And uh, normally when I melt stuff, I try to pick out things that would go good together. 
So I did pick this along with like a zucchini sugar cookie or something like that. I can't really remember. But her mac apple is like ridiculously strong. I do have a six pack in it because I love it. Um, another strawberry zucchini. I just love that one, clearly. I finished a six pack in Sinistrudel and I am so sad that it's gone. I did place an order with that small good shop, which you will see soon. And uh, she didn't have any more cinnamon strudel when I went on the website. It's so good. It reminds me a lot of Bear Claws, just a little bit sweeter. I think her Bear Claws is better. It's a lot, well, I don't say a lot stronger, but it is stronger. Um, but the cinnamon strudel, I feel like, is a lot sweeter. Uh, they're both really strong, though, and I love it, and I'm so sad that it's gone. All right, that small good shop, pink sugar, vanilla bean noel, and strawberry. So this one was really good. I would give this more of, like, a medium throw, though. I love the pink sugar and the strawberry together. I really should mix those more often. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, have you guys noticed my, uh, what's it called, my water fountain? I put the water back in to see how you guys felt about it. If you don't like it, though, I will turn it off. Okay, the last one here is coffee ice cream and sugar corn pudding. So I never really thought of mixing coffee scents with sugar corn pudding, but it works really well. The sugar corn pudding, believe it or not, was actually a lot stronger. Um, it didn't last very long though. Now, I don't go into detail when it comes to longevity because I always mix them out or, you know, what, you know what I mean? I change them. <laughs> I change them out before the scent is gone uh, just because I have so much wax and I always want to smell something new every a couple hours. Uh, but this one actually died out within like two or three hours, which kind of surprised me because normally her stuff lasts a, long, a lot longer than that. However, it was a strong throw and, uh, well, medium to strong throw, I would say. And uh, the sugar corn pudding was amazing. I didn't get much coffee though, to be totally honest with you. Uh, so I would just repurchase the sugar corn pudding by itself. Okay, so that is everything, and uh, if you guys are really watching all of these, I commend you, man. <laughs> I really do. Um, if you guys aren't bored of me, I will catch you in part four. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in part four. Bye.